I grew up exploring the game-rich forests and waterways of the Pacific Northwest. Where as a teenager, I lost my right arm in a life-changing car accident. Overcoming adversity has shaped me into the man I am today. And a burning desire for hunting and fishing led me to start the Northwest premier outdoor media company. Come along with my great friends and amazing family as we chase the trophies of our dreams. That's what it's all about right there. These are the stories of the beautiful places, incredible animals, the Northwest's best outdoor adventure right here on our show, courageous people, and the obstacles we overcome. My name is Rex Peterson, and this is Horns and Hooks TV. This week on Horns and Hooks TV, we tag along with the winner of the Sportsman's Warehouse Hunt Giveaway for opening weekend of mule deer season with Okanagan Valley Guide Service in Eastern Washington. Then we head further east with a Montana deer tag in my pack, chasing public land muleys in the bitter late season cold. Horns and Hooks TV is brought to you by Huskama Optics. If you're not the lead dog, the view never changes. Visit Grays Harbor, Washington, where unforgettable outdoor adventures await. U.S. Marine Sales and Service in Olympia, Washington. Family owned and operated for over 20 years. Sportsman's Warehouse, America's premier outfitter. Welcome to opening day of deer season for rifle here in Washington State. We're with Okanagan Valley Outfitters here in Eastern Washington. And we got the, we got Mike, the Sportsman's Warehouse hunt giveaway winner with us. And uh, I'm excited. There's this, some really cool country, beautiful place, and uh, we should be seeing lots of deer here. It's just first light, and we've, uh, we've seen some deer here in the bottom last night, and we're hoping that they're gonna feed up this way. So, beautiful country, great people, and uh, I just can't be more excited for meal deer hunting here in Washington State. I get on Sportsman's Warehouse online every now and then, see what's uh, what's on sale. And I signed up for their online notifications. I got one about filling out a trophy mule deer hunt. So I went ahead and filled it out, figured probably never win. I'll be darned, I get an email from Rex Peterson of Horns and Hooks TV. At first, I didn't believe it was true or not. Rex assured me it was true. So this is the first time I've been in Eastern Washington. And I was amazed, beautiful country, gorgeous. So you, get, you, you drive up through, you see the apple orchards that blend right up into the mountains, um, the pine trees and the sage. I love hunting the open sage and they had a lot of that, but you got, you got the pine trees and everything else. Just beautiful country to hunt. Saw a black bear sow with two cubs and that was amazing to me because she stood up from a distance to get an eye view of us when she got her scent. There she is, standing up. She smells us again. Yeah, she smelled us. <laughs> That's awesome. They look healthy. <laughs> yeah, they look really good. There's a million answers for Sasquatch right there. <laughs> they gone. <laughs> that was pretty well, that cool. That was pretty neat. We live live here in this beautiful valley and, and uh, been doing it for quite a few years now, 15 years now, and we, we love what we do. You know, this, to have a good quality hunt and seeing tons of deer, it's not, not untypical to, to see 100 deer a day. I mean, it's, it's pretty common. Our, our success rate is really high. Uh, seeing these bucks doing what they're doing every single day and they're very patternable that time of year. So it's, it's a fun hunt. And two by two, they're both getting up. Sunday, we went out early hunting a ranch. Saw a lot of deer, spotted a small buck, 
and my guide Joe got a spawning scope out and saw two bigger bucks with them. And the, there was a good three by four that I wanted to take. So there was a two by three, he got up first. Okay, the two by three, they're both getting up. The one on the left. The three by four took a couple of steps past the sagebrush. I had the crossers on them. I was steady. Nice shot. He's awesome. kicking around. Jack another one in, but I think he's dead. He's not going anywhere. You absolutely just drilled him, man. Thank Congratulations. You, Thank you, bro. It's a fun Appreciate deal. It. Never won anything in my life, and it was awesome, hunt. I enjoyed that it. That was great. Can't thank Sportsman's Warehouse enough. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Congratulations. You putting it together. This is a tremendous awesome. buck, man. This is a lot of fun. Thank awesome. you for letting us be a part of it, man. That's awesome. I want to thank. Joe, our guide. Joe did a fantastic <laughs> job, man. Good job, buddy. Mike made a fantastic shot on this buck. Oh, nice. Thank you. I saw a bear, a little yeah. bear. Yeah, that, bear, that bear was cool, man. I've never yeah. seen a bear stand up. That was pretty way. neat. Yeah. A lot of people mistake them bears like that for Sasquatch. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that another show? <laughs> <laughs> this ain't the Sasquatch, I yeah. A lot of morning and evening hunts, hunting over agriculture fields. And during rifle season, it's a four day hunt. We have a lot of bucks coming in and out then. Uh, we do a lot of spot and stock, glassing them up in the morning, uh, seeing them where they're going, coming and going, where they're bedding down, so we can intercept them coming from their food sources. You know, we're 100% opportunity. You know, we, we like, we take good pride in that. We like getting people on deer, and we have a lot of land and a lot of bucks to show people. It's not untypical to, to see 100 deer a day. I mean, it's, it's pretty common. We got a nice four-point buck here spotted for Nick. One of the guides watched him bed down here coming out of this alfalfa field and going back up into this burn and they stoves bedded up above him and there's a nice little buck bedded just just at the base of that ridge in the sage. So I think Nick and, and Todd are gonna put the smack down on. Rocked him. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you for letting us be a part of this today. It was it was very fun for us to, to join your hunt today. It was... It's real exciting for me too this, with this deer hunt. <laughs> yeah, this is very nice. Todd, you did a great job. Thanks for uh, thanks for allowing us to tag along in your guys' hunt today. I mean three of you guys in the group and mm -hmm. two of them are tagged out and everybody's gonna be happy. We're all, got we're all tagged out going home with me. It's gonna be yep. a, a great trip to California. And it is. And uh, Okanagan Valley Guide Service here has got a ton of ground, a ton of deer. Just uh, look him up on the website and, and uh, book your hunt today. It's a great place to come chase some, chase some mule deer here in eastern Washington. And I can't thank you guys enough for having us this week. It's been a lot of fun. Still to come on Horns and Oaks TV. We head further east, chasing public land muleys in the bitter late season cold. Welcome to the Horns and Hooks Moment of Truth, brought to you by Limb Saver. For more than 100 years, the mule deer has been one of the most heavily populated and iconic big game animals in the West. Mule deer populations spread from the Canadian Yukon to central Mexico. Unfortunately, their numbers have been declining since the 1980s. A recent boom in oil and gas production, a campaign to eliminate wildfires, the invasive species cheatgrass, along with loss of habitat and increased predation, all influence mule deer migration routes and food sources in these sensitive habitats. Conservation organizations like the Mule Deer Foundation are fighting hard for habitat and proper management.
This has been your Limb Saver Moment of Truth.